Hey guys, and welcome to Tea and Questions with me, Hollow. We are joined once again by a cup of tea of which I will be consuming during the episode, but I will probably edit out most of the sips like that, like always. So, um... Thanks for all the comments on the last one, by the way. Um, there was a lot of open debate about uh, one of the previous questions on the last show, all about um, veganism and vegetarian and, you know, that whole thing. And I think it really opens um, a really interesting point um, that I'll be covering and talking about when I get to a different like question in today's episode that um, hopefully a lot of you people who are outraged by my opinion on veganism and how meat and blah, 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 and, you know, basically opinions, opinions, opinions. Um, I, I really want to say something, um, but it'll come up when I get to that question. So we'll just truck on and get through the show um, and then get to that question. And uh, yeah, then I'll say it, I guess. All right, first question comes from Tunnel Breeze. Says, uh, hey, hello. Um, some people, as they grow older, tend to stop gaming and they are, you know, they get too old for gaming. Do you think that's going to happen to you? Probably not, no. Um, gaming in general is an amazing thing for, like, elderly people who aren't physically able to do things as much anymore um, and is a really good thing for that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you're a get into gaming, you're probably great when you're elderly, you know? But the thing is, um, people grow out of grow out of gaming because it's the same way they grow out of anything really um you know you might get bored of playing football you know you just don't like the sport anymore you know you don't want to draw anymore it just doesn't it's not as rewarding um and this often happens to people who are like you know originally like um they play consoles, you know, and they get bored of playing the same few FPSs that they play on their console. They don't really know, like, the full, like, potential of gaming, This I feel, is a lot of the people who have stopped gaming. But at the end of the day, you can get tired of anything, no matter how vast or versatile it is. You can get bored of it, you know, you just want to move on to something else, you know, life's short. And that's completely fine. So I can't say that I'll always game, for sure, but I really, really expect that I will always, you know, as a person at heart, be someone who is invested in games in some sort of way. Um, I don't think I'm ever just going to get bored of them or just stop playing them, you know, because I just fucking love them. There's so much versatility and uniqueness to it. But as I said, people get bored of anything, so... I could get bored of it. I don't know. I just don't. I don't see it happening. All right, Mega Gaming Brony says, "Great name. Uh, somewhat deep question. What's your stance on homophobia?" Um, uh, the reason I picked this question is because um, I have like a, a personal experience with it, actually. Um, and now, what I'm gonna have to say before I say this is, I was young and I didn't understand the meaning of the word, and uh, confused. And yeah, things changed. I changed. Um, but I gotta say. Um, a period in my life, I was homophobic, um, or so I thought I was. Uh, basically, how it works, homophobia, is someone is a f phobic of any, like, being phobic of germs, you know, not liking, I don't know, like, you, you, you're phobic of, like, animals, or, I don't know, you just, you're not you are really not into this thing, right? Homophobia is really not being into homo homosexual sort of stuff. And there's different, like, wavelengths of this. So uh, there could be a homophobic person who just doesn't like gay people because they're gay. And uh, he they, they, imagine, they imagine the act of some sort of homosexual thing and are repulsed by it, okay? So that's homophobia to them whereas homophobia to another person might be okay i am disgusted by this homosexual act and i hate it and i hate the people who are doing that and i am going to take an offense and attack these people that's also a, a, a form of homophobia but very extreme uh, when i'm saying that i was homophobic basically what happened was um i, I got to about 12 or 13 i think and uh, there was this gay, um, this gay fellow in uh, one of my classes, and um, I remember being like, uh, you know, oh, he's, he likes males. I don't want him to like me because I don't like him. I don't want to. And I imagine myself like having to like, you know, have a relationship with this person. And I was like, no, I don't want that. I don't like guys. No, no. And I was, and for some reason, my 13 year old head, I was like. I am having this forced on me. And then I was like repulsed by the idea because I didn't like this person. Um, like I wasn't attracted to them. Um, 
mostly because they're male and I'm straight, but I wasn't attracted to this person and uh, I was like, oh, it was an attack or something. And the way I reacted to it was by saying nothing, you know? I didn't uh, say that I'm homophobic. I didn't, you know, react and tell them that, you know, you were bad, you can't be gay, that's wrong, or anything stupid like that. I just wasn't attracted to them, didn't want to be gay with that person um, or bi or whatever. I didn't want to be in a relationship with this person and um, so I just thought I was homophobic because of that and that's what I thought at the time. My version when I was 13 of homophobia was I don't want to be gay because I'm not gay and therefore that means I'm homophobic, right? Which is wrong. Um, if you are straight and you are not gay, then that doesn't mean you're homophobic. It just means you're straight, you fucking idiot. And that's what I had thought at the time. So that's what I meant by, you know, the explanation of that. But um, basically, my finisher to this is um, my stand on homophobia is it's ignorance, I, I believe. Um, if you're not sexually attracted to a man when you're a man, or, you know, you're not sexually attracted to a girl when you're a girl... Um, that's fine, you know, you don't have to think about doing things with that person because you, it's your brain, you don't have to. And, you know, I am not going to imagine my friend and his girlfriend having some sort of thing happen that, you know, I don't want to imagine because I don't have to, you know? That's normal. You know, you don't have to be attracted to every person of en every gender, of every style of personality, you know? You are attracted to what you are attracted to and that's fine. Um, that doesn't mean you have to force your opinion on other people. And this is where I'm tying into that other thing is I talked about, you know, veg vegetarians and vegans and stuff. And what I think is really important for you to think about as a person is if I'm telling myself I don't want to eat meat, right? Do you know how much that affects you? Zero. Your opinion is worthless when it comes to that. Like if I say one day... I, I think I'm a vegan. I think I want to be a vegan. I don't want to eat meat or fish or I, want, I don't want to be any part of that. And uh, then I say to you, I'm a vegan, um, so I'm just not going to eat meat. You know what? That How you should react to that um, is you just you just say, okay, I won't try to feed you meat then. Um, just okay. And then done. You know, when when someone is sexually attracted to a boy or a girl... You aren't then going to like be like, no, you should be attracted to this because that's fucked up. That's wrong. You know, that's like someone's it's like someone's opinion and you're just telling them their opinion is just like fucked up and stupid. You know, um, you can't just force your own ideals down someone's throat. That's just it's never going to work. And it's stupid and it's wrong. Um, so, you know, with, with the whole reaction to like, you know, vegans and vegetarian and whatnot, um, I just want to say that, you know, it, the opinions that you put across were fine. There was a lot of misinformation. Uh, a lot of people, like, there was people who were saying, like, but animals don't feel pain. And it's just like, you know, just, I, that's wrong. <laughs> um, you know, just misinformation and stuff. And you just have to take that with a grain of salt. Um, and it was an interesting reaction that I saw in the comments. But I just, I just trying to put it across now, you know, with homophobia, with veganism and all that stuff. It's just, if someone wants to do something and they're just doing that and it makes them happy and it's suitable for them, that's fine. You know, you should respect that. Um, you shouldn't, if someone wants to eat meat, you shouldn't be like, okay, you can't eat meat because that's, I'm not allowing it, you know. Sure, your ideals are that, you know, that animal cruelty is wrong and you don't want to be part of, like, contributing to that. That's great. But telling them why you are that and showing them opinions and, you know, showing them evidence and ex making them experience that stuff, that's fine. But being like, no, you're not allowed to eat meat, that's fucked up, you're an idiot, you know, I hate you. That That's not how it works. And it's vice versa. Um, if you eat meat and someone doesn't eat meat, you shouldn't try to force them to eat meat or get really up in their face. It, I've seen it so many times. It's amazing how much... Um, as soon as someone says that they're a vegan, people are constantly asking them about what they eat and are like, you can't survive. And a lot of like ignorance is like 
circling around that. And I thought I just wanted to talk about that as a whole because there's a massive reaction to what I talked about in the um, veganism and you know vegetarian stuff in the last episode. And I kind of covered that along with this question. So thanks, Mega Gaming Brony. Sorry it took so long to answer your question. But um, homophobia is mostly just ignorance. And with intelligence and learning and understanding, I Cornelius Thunderbolts kind of asked, why is rage such a summer fag? I don't know, man. I guess he was just born that way or something. It's... Sometimes it's hard to see. <laughs> um, very serious question there. Uh, next question comes from an average Scottish gamer. Hello, what's your opinion on Scottish independence? This is a, a big topic that I'm going to cover quickly. I don't really care. Um, you know, if, if Scotland or Scot- Scottish people want to be independent away from the UK, I guess that's fine to me. You know, it doesn't matter, you know. It doesn't matter at all. If, as long as we're not at a war... You know, I don't want something terrible like that, but if they want their independence, then that's okay. And if they'd want to stay with the UK in general, the British sort of thing, then that's fine too. I just don't really mind. I've never been very invested in that kind of thing. It's all a big, you know, interesting to some people, but to me, I'm just, for me right now in my life, I'm just focused on other things, but... um it's history being made right now, and I think that's very interesting. Um, Alex Haddon asks, Hello, how's your Deathstroke costume coming along? Pretty awesome. The mask should be coming tomorrow. I ordered, like, a custom-made one. And uh, I have the vest. I have shoulder armor that's going to be cool, hopefully. And then, like, something that comes down my arm. And i got these armored gloves. So that's, like, the upper body sorted. Although I need a belt of some kind, like a utility belt kind of thing. Um, then I've got... Um, Underneath that, I'll have, like, a thin black shirt, so that, like, covers it. And I've got, like, a balaclava for the mask. So that's, like, my full upper body done. And then uh, I'm going to get, like, some black jeans, hopefully skinnier ones. Um, and then we're going to have, like, thigh armor on my thighs. Ovs, ovs, thigh goes on your thigh. Um, and then I've got, like, knee shin pad stuff, so that's, like, legs. And then these really nice boots and uh, hopefully I'll do a video on that before you again before I go and show you uh, the process of that. I'm actually making the sword right now um, out of PVC piping. Um, I had to melt it down like heating. Had my dad help me. He was really grateful for that. Um, and we like melted it and molded it into shape and uh, I'm doing that over today and tomorrow so tomorrow I'll be finishing it I've been taking a lot of pictures during it, maybe I'll tweet it maybe I'll make a video about it, I don't know but um, yeah, hopefully the sword will be alright and I'll be going for a harness on my back hopefully on the back of my like my armour thing um, and then uh, the other weapon, the um, bow staff is just basically oh, I took a mop thing, broke the end of the mop off and it's like, it, it like extends and gets smaller which is awesome because that's like Deathstroke's bow staff, and I've used tape to sort of make handles and ends and stuff. Um, so it looks pretty good. I'm kind of happy. Hopefully, I'll have that on like the belt or something so I can just take it out and like open it and like whack, just Deathstroke it about or whatever. Um, so hopefully, it looks cool and I'm excited. And it's been a process and it's been something completely different, but it's been creative and interesting and fun and challenging. Um, so I definitely want to do this again with a different character. I someday do another Deathstroke cosplay that's even better than this one. But as long as you guys can see that I am Deathstroke when I'm wearing it, then that's I've achieved something, you know? Um, all right, finally, this is my opinion, yay. Great name. Um, Holler, what's your opinion on gay rights and abortion? Gay rights. Basically, someone is human and they are attracted to the same sex. Therefore, they are human and that doesn't matter to me in the slightest because I'm not trying to have sex with that person. Great. Should that person have the same rights as me? Yes. One done. Next, abortion. I'm not a woman. I cannot control abortion. And my opinion on abortion is mostly irrelevant because I can't get pregnant because I'm a guy. So, girls, um, if you want to have an abortion, that's fine. If you don't want to have an abortion, that's fine. You know, if you're a person who wants to give birth to the baby but you can't look after it and you want to give it to a foster home then that's your choice. If you want to have an abortion, I think before, like if you do it the day after or whatever, that is killing the potential for life, I suppose. But the thing is, um, it's basically like a skin cell in like the day after, and you are shedding thousands and thousands of skin cells right now. And it's just not like, you know, I don't know. My opinion on abortion is it's okay if you want to do it, you know? I'm not even really on one side. 
Um, so there you go. A lot of opinions, a lot of serious topics, and a lot of words thrown out there. I'm sorry if you're not interested in these topics, but I thought there was a lot. You guys were serious about this episode. You know, a lot of in-depth questions that um, really had a lot of words needed to be said about them. So thank you for that. Um, if you have more questions, please leave them as a comment on this video, and I'll go back and um, you know look, and then go to the record the next one using those ones so that's your best way your best bet basically um again thanks for all your opinions um try not to get too offended by uh you know the whole you know again my opinion on the veganism thing is it's just like if someone wants to do something with their body it's not your body you don't need to say anything about it you shouldn't care you know um and that's my opinion in general uh, when it comes to that stuff. So hopefully you don't have a some sort of outrage about that. And hopefully I opened your mind a little bit to being more open and understanding. Um, otherwise, guys, have a great day slash night, depending on where you are. And I will see you next time.